What is up, good people? Jungle Link here. Hope you're doing well. I want to talk a little bit further about the XRP ledger and the amendment process. And we're going to talk a little bit about the AMM situation currently. I don't think it's as dire or a big a deal as people make it to be. But there is one area I think we can improve here. Now, I'm not a developer. I'm not some sort of technical expert. But I think there's one area here where we could use a little more disclosure because there seems to be most people, most investors are left in the dark here. And I think if everyone has the same information, that's important for markets and for XRP and crypto in general to build value. So we'll talk about that. Before we get into it, you know, when we look at AMMs, people are riled up. I'm telling you here, these independent developers, they're not trying to harm anyone. They're not trying to stonewall this amendment. They just want to make sure it's safe before it goes live. And everyone's retort is, well, David and Ripple say it's fine, so it must be so. The NFT amendment had a serious flaw and issue. And it's nothing against Ripple. It is tough to write good code and make sure there's no errors. And that thing was days away from going live. And someone, an independent developer, caught the error and they had to pull it back. And thankfully, they fixed it in time. And just like the AMM amendment, that was designed by Ripple. And they were trying to push it through. And they're not perfect. Nobody is. And that's why we have this set up by design. These independent validators that get to review everything and ensure it is ready for that network when it goes live. Never forget, this process was designed by David from day one for a reason. And it may waste some time. They may ask some questions. Ripple can answer them, provide some more data. And they may agree, you know what, this thing's ready to go. There's nothing wrong with taking your time here. This is not some sort of coup where the you know, validators are trying to punish Ripple. And they will do, ultimately, what is right for the XRP ledger. And if you don't believe that, well, you probably should sell your XRP because they make up most of the network and most of the development and most of the maintenance. So if you think those people are corrupt, well, your XRP ledger is corrupt by association. We're only at like day 46 or 47. And the average amendment, well, it takes a few months, like four months, six months to pass. And this is a big one. This is a drastic change. Take your time, get it right. Not a big deal. Let's not attack those people. They have always got the job done in the past and they will do so here. Now, this is the area of the process that I think we could see some improvements here. The Hooks Amendment. What was the vote there? How many people thought it was good? How many people thought it was bad? Well, we never got to vote on it. Why? Two reasons. Number one, Ripple didn't do the review. They don't like it for some reason. They refuse to review it. And if it's not reviewed, well, it can't continue on to be voted on. Further, Ripple controls the on-ramp here. Even if you found someone else to do the review, you're able to talk the foundation in, into you know, overstepping Ripple and doing that review for you. You can't even you know, upload that to be, uh, to be voted on without Ripple doing so. So there's no way to work around Ripple. Now, to be clear, having Ripple as this kind of quasi-gatekeeper, well, is that a problem? I don't think so. I actually have no problem with that at all. What I don't like is that they can silently do this. Like, if you're going to ice hooks, I think you should have to put out a statement. We are not going to review this because of these reasons, and we think it's more appropriate to try it on a side ledger first. Let the market know you are taking these unilateral steps. These are the reasons why and make it very public. Don't just silently not review the thing and ice an amendment into oblivion. Like to me, that's the problem here. We should not be able to be behind the scenes in a very you know quiet way, make things go away. The more disclosures, I think the better for everyone. And I wanna make this clear too. This isn't special just to XRP. Can you go and just upload whatever you want to Bitcoin or Ethereum? No. You can't. Now, in other examples, there might not be one person in charge. There might be four or five, but still we could get into these kind of situations. But in any situation, if you are refusing to let something go forward, it should be stated why to the public. And ultimately, it's everyone's decision. You know what? If you don't agree, you can fork off your own way and build your own chain. And that's what we see. They're building this side chain that will have hooks enabled and other you know, governance features. And we can test that and compare it to the XRP ledger. Maybe someday merge some of that stuff over. I think that's healthy. That's good. But I just don't like the fact that most people don't know 
that Hooks did not progress because Ripple would not review the amendment. It was never voted on. No one else ever got a say. I'm okay with them taking those actions, but you best, you know, put out some sort of statement and reasoning and let it be known what is occurring. That's important. The more disclosures, the better. Let me know what you think down below. And as always, please like, please subscribe. The revolution will be televised right here on Jungle Link.